Commander, sorry I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. Always have time for my crew. What is it? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. But... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. It's only a waste of time if you jerk me around. What is it? My father was first officer on a ship that went missing ten years ago. I had not talked to him for three years prior. His ship, the Hugo Gernsback, sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and a request for rescue. Just like that, out of the black. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. You'd like us to go take a look at the wreck? See if it's legit? If the coordinates aren't too far out of our way, I could at least verify the wreck. Who knows, maybe there is actually someone out there. I want to also mention that I don't make a habit of looking for random SOS signals. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Any signs that this was a Cerberus front? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like, well, you. And whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors, or thought it would get under my skin. Who knows with that bunch. Tell me about the Hugo Gernsback and what it was doing. Privately held frigate. I looked over the mission brief when it disappeared. Nothing stood out. Typical research and grab operation. Find an uncharted planet, stake a claim, and establish as large a presence as you can as fast as possible to shut out competitors. You didn't get along with your father? He made no apologies, I'll give him that. You make a mistake, you own up to it. Even if you keep making it. Whatever problems we had were a lifetime ago. I've had ten years to get to where I am. And as far as I know, he's still a ghost. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. Eight years, 237 days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as... Record deleted by Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols. Other flagged issues. Unsafe deceleration. Local food and neural decay. Beacon activation protocols. Who's in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First Officer Ronald Taylor promoted infield to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. I assume unsafe deceleration refers to the crash. Give me the details. Following an unspecified impact and sublight drive failure, the Hugo Gernsback made an unscheduled descent at 465% of theoretical recommended suborbital velocity. The Hugo Gernsback then decelerated at 782% of theoretical recommended approach velocity, sustaining significant damage to investment and crew. Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora, regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Come on, let's get going. You came from the sky? The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. Who are you? What was your rank on the Gernsback? 
Uh, I, I, I can't think. The leader thinks for us and, and we serve. So, so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were cast out. He exiled them. So they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will come. Watch out. Hunters, they won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them! Agents of the liar! He will not escape! Get ready to fight. Uh. Oh. Yeah. Clearly docile. Same uniform remnants as those who attacked, however. There aren't any men here. Maybe it affects genders differently. Makes males get violent. Previous females said hunters were exiled, behavioral, or gender-driven. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat, to decay. You are cursed with his face. Not the best reaction to the family resemblance, Jacob. You have his face, but you fight his machines. You might stop this. This, I forget how to read, but this was the start. What he promised, and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. Jacob, what does it say? It's a crew logbook. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. Not what I would have done, but they were in a desperate situation. How long do you stay desperate? The numbers go up from there. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle or toys. In a year. All the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers like pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. Anything in there about whether the effects of the toxic food can be treated? Nothing. But it seems like the right call. If everyone gets it, who's left to fix the beacon? You'd never get out, but they did fix it, and the signal wasn't sent until now. I'm starting to see why. We haven't seen any other officers. He killed them? There were five after the crash. Medical, engineering, bridge staff. Should have had no problem fixing the beacon and keeping people safe. All killed within the same week, about a month after the beacon was repaired. Do you see an explanation for this? He's your father. Is he? None of this fits. Maybe the initial decision, but the rest? Abuse of power doesn't get any clearer than this. I need to find this man. Enough with the toys. I need to look my father in the eye and hear him justify. 